Okay, I'm gonna find this really hard to believe that if you're a gay man, you don't know this name. Well, you might not know the name. Anthony Amarati. And I'm probably not saying it right. It's the French pole vaulter who's, well, uh, his penis disqualified him. <laughs> okay, that sucks. And not in the way I you think. But it, it kind of sucks. Oh, well, it's, I guess it sucks. It's, I mean, it's nice that he's very well endowed. But it kind of sucks that it got in the way of him getting to his dreams. So what's getting in the way of your dreams? <laughs> what's hanging up your pole vaulting into life? What is that thing that's getting in the way? In his case, it was his appendage, his penis. But what's your excuse? Because we're all trying to pole vault forward into life, careers, friends, boyfriends, doing better financially, all these sort of things. But what's hanging you up? What's the big penis in your mind that's hanging you up? And I, I don't want you to think about big penises. Well, maybe it does. Maybe, maybe there's a big penis of disbelief. Maybe there's a big penis of not good enough. Maybe there's a big penis of uh, everybody else but not me. Guess what? That's what's getting in your way of pole vaulting over and into your life. You don't have to be at the Olympics. You don't have to actually be a pole vaulter and have your penis hang up on the top bar and knock off to disqualify you. Your little penises or big penises of your life is what is getting in your way. So I'm just curious, what is your penis in life right now that's getting in your way that if you could fix it, if you could fix it, not by tucking it deeper, by actually holding it in your hand, no pun intended guys, come on, okay? But if you could hold the penis that's in your way in life and go, what could I do differently? What would you be capable of? I bet you could be a pole vaulter too. Take care and have a good day.